I will do a video of how I will improve the mud guards on my electrical bike. Uh, for me, they are too short as per today. So water and dirt is hitting both the bike, the chain and my precious boots, of course. And the back one is also too short and really flimsy like this. So uh, I get a lots of uh, water on my jacket when it's a bit wet outside. For the front one, I think it's uh, easy to remove, so I will do that. For the rear one, I'm we're gonna see. I'm a bit maybe I should say lazy that I'm not gonna try to remove the whole wheel, but see if I can do the uh, adjustment with the mudguard still mounted. We'll see, but I'm gonna start with the front one and my plan is to use rubber sheets like this and attach them to the mudguard. I'm gonna use rivets and I found some aluminum plate that I can use under the rivet head and over the rubber sheet like that. I made a test earlier. I have the test piece here. Is if I go with the rivet directly onto the rubber, it's a quite small area that's gonna take the force. So my plan is to use the aluminum plate to distribute the force from the rivets a little bit better. I think that will um be better and will last longer so that's my plan now i have assembled the first row of rivets and the rubber sheet and i'm uh, gonna cut the rubber sheet when i have it in place i think so it gets a good length and the rivets are not protruding too much so there's no big risk to touch and damage the wheel now i'm gonna do the second row before i'm gonna mount it back to the bike front mudguard finished it was a really quick easy job just a couple of rivets, aluminum plates and the rubber. I think it will do its job. This was easy, so now I'll go to the back one. Rear mud guard finished. I didn't drill in the tire, that's good. If I would have had thicker aluminum, I would have used it. This is only 0.7 millimeters thick. So thicker would have been better. I also made a reinforcement on the back here because otherwise the rubber was really flimsy. So I just did something like that. And yeah, that's it. I decided to paint the aluminum plates black because I realized that my design wasn't gonna win an award. Uh, so black paint I had on the shelf, I just took it and sprayed and now it's drying the next step is to take the bike out and test run it for a couple of days it's snowing out right now so the conditions are going to be perfect for a for a good test so next step is that and then evaluate and see if it works as it should And the front mud guard. Okay.
All right, so now it's been a uh, uh, little bit more than four months since I did the mudguard upgrade for my bike. Uh, I have ridden it mostly uh, to work and back. That's a ride of uh, about 10 kilometers one way. And uh, I've been doing that so the total length traveled with this bike has been, uh, I think it's 500 or 600 kilometers in these four months. So if we start to, if I start to evaluate the Matlegard upgrade, I would start with the front here. Uh, I have been quite happy with the upgrade. It has been uh, working like I intended it to. Uh, this rubber flap has been catching all the water that was otherwise gonna uh, hit my boots and also uh, the chain and I think it's the electronics down here um, so that's just been working really good I also did a reinforcement about uh, half time uh, two months ago for uh, the mud guard itself because it was only supported up here so as you can imagine, it was too wobbly and this piece of uh, rubber increased the wobbliness. But with this metal here, it's been really good. So I'm happy with that. Function wise, if we look to the back side, uh, the back mudguard, I have been uh, happy with it function wise. But now I actually see that uh, Visually, it starts to look not so good, actually. The rubber has been starting to sag here uh, with time. So uh, now in hindsight, I think I should have done some kind of reinforcement with, uh, I guess, metal or something, that it would be supported like this. I think this is gonna work, continue to work. Uh, the aluminum parts that has been supporting this and uh, supporting also the mudguard itself uh, have been working and not uh, got damaged so far. So uh, pretty much, I didn't spend too much time on it, but it has been uh, fulfilling its function. So I am uh, happy with this one and Maybe you guys can use some of these ideas to upgrade your bike. Alright, bye.